Let's do some wig shopping. As you all might remember, I did a huge wig giveaway with all of the hundreds of wigs I had last year. And now I'm starting fresh. I'm always down for a good transformation. Let's see what we can find. Today I'm going to one of my favorite wig stores. They have so many options. Definitely the place to go. Oh my God, there's so many options. Too much to choose from. Should I get this one? No. How about this one? Uh, wait, this one's nice. Okay, this one's definitely the winner. Do I need anything else? No, I think I'm good. Okay, y'all, I got the goodies. Let's put this wig on. It's been a while since I've done a whole wig install, like from the beginning. Cutting the lace and everything, so. I might be a little rusty, okay? The wig I chose is from Sister Wig. Never heard of her, but I'm about to get to know her. It is Brazilian Remy 100% Virgin Human Hair. That's what's up. This is a lace front wig. I wanted to make sure I would be able to like, do like a half up look or something. Something to make it look more natural, right? Look at I love a baby hair. Y'all, this is what makes it look realistic, okay? <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at this thing. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but this wig has a very, very lightly plucked center part already, but is very easily movable. I wanna be able to do whatever I want with this wig. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I am not gonna put a wig cap on. I think I'm set in that uh, part. <laughs> Let me just get this a little bit tighter first. So I'm just gonna tighten up the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be a good one, y'all. So I'm going to clip the hair back. I'm just gonna fold it back a little bit. Okay, I'm pulling it, pulling it up. Okay, now we need some glue. Instead of glue, I'm going to opt for an extreme holding gel. I think that's my move today. Um, Cause she doesn't have to last for long. So I'm going to bring it around my hairline. Ooh. Definitely need some close to my ears cause that's the part that will flop around the most. As soon as this starts drying, it's gonna get tacky so it's gonna be able to stick ah, my hands are sticky we are in the right spot and that's what matters i'm gonna pin the baby hairs to start we're just working on the glue right now we're just working on the lace okay i feel beautiful gorgeous beautiful already i feel like it's kind of giving I don't know what it's giving. <laughs> this is just so weird to see. Right now you can see my natural hair right there. So I'm going to cut around that. I definitely don't want to cut my actual hair at all. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna let this bottom part kind of stay there, but. Go. Okay, I didn't put concealer on today. I could definitely go around the sides and do that, but I think these little baby hairs are gonna are gonna save me. Now, let's just say I'm not an an edges girly. I don't necessarily have the complexion for that anyway, but I do want to make it like you know a little a little less obvious, right? So I'll probably just stick to gluing this bottom part down around my ears and then maybe I'll make it like a little, a little messy. <laughs> maybe I'll just make it a little messy. Just putting a little bit more of that gel along the edges and I'm just gonna like hold it down a little bit. Just hold it down. 
Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands while this dries a little bit. And we'll be right back. I am just stunned. Like, can we, can we just, real quick, This is so funny. Honestly, this hair is so sleek. Just me, a ponytail girly. <laughs> what I don't like right now is that the hair in the very front goes back. So I think I need to do some, need some blow drying with my ceramic round brush. I think that's the move. So the ceramic core, to this holds the heat so it'll like slowly kind of um curl it like give it a little bit of wave but also by heating up the roots i'm making it moldable so that i can move the hair either forward or back or you know wherever i want it to go Excuse me? That is some volume right there. I want to give it just like the very, very, very loose waves. So I'm just going to... Just gonna twist it a little bit and pull down very slowly. You know what? I feel like I've been getting so good at styling my short hair. I almost forgot what it was like. I almost forgot what it was like with long hair. Ooh, that was a crisp one. Now, of course, I didn't just buy this wig to install it today for funsies and then take it off forever. Okay, I do have the plan to cut it and dye it, but I have no set plans yet. So y'all, let me know what you think I should do with this wig next. I was thinking maybe we could do like a super layered look, right? We could do like wolf cut vibes, like a long wolf cut. Something edgy, artsy. We could do highlights, but then dye the highlights red or something. That would be fun. I don't know, I'm just throwing words out there. Or dye the highlights purple. Listen, I'm just throwing words out there. Let me know what words stick. Let me know what you think I should do. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna teach y'all a little trick. I look so pale right now. Okay, so when we have little wispies all over the place and you're like, oh, I just did my whole head. I look so good, except I got all these things. Just take your hairspray, spray it on your hand a little bit. And use your fingers. And just lay it down, go like that, boop, boop. I didn't put any foundation on today, but maybe I should just to conceal that a little bit. And I kinda wanna be done. <laughs> okay, and here we have it. Let's try with the claw clip. See how we feel about that. Claw clip right there. Pretty average. I don't really like it that much. This right now, we're practicing hair theory, which is like what, like what hair length and what hairstyle looks best with your face shape. I just got very used to my style right now being very mask leaning with short hair, standard makeup, I suppose, <laughs> like very low key vibes. And just adding long hair to it throws me off. I'm a little thrown off right now. And when I had longer hair, I really leaned into like the hyper femme look. And since then, I have more tattoos. <laughs> I wear cooler clothes, I mean, I would say. Um, but with long hair, I don't know, it just feels so different. This, I like a little bit more. I like the half up, half down. Even on my bad short hair days, I go for a hat. So here's my like kitty ear knit hat. I usually like pull my hair back. Oh, this is so weird. 
I actually don't know who I am right now. I am concerned. Who am I? This is so weird. What do we think of this one? With the hat, with the knit hat. Mm, mm. Or I have my good old Philadelphia neighborhood hat. Now, I was really excited to get this hat. This is from the Philly Gay Girl group, um, which I love. I love this group of girlies out here. Um, but my head is like too small for this hat. <laughs> but my head will probably be just fine with some hair. So let's pull it back. Yep, I like it. That's a lot better. I'm telling you, me with short hair trying to wear this baseball cap, not the move. <laughs> not the move at all. But with hair, she's kind of cool. Maybe when my hair grows out, I'll be more of like a baseball cap girly. Oh my, she is adorable. I don't know her, but I want to. You know what I mean? I don't know if I want to date me or be me with long hair. And these are the questions. Well, I had so much fun shopping for this wig today and putting it on for you. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And think up some ideas of how we can cut and style this new wig. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.